to Bath next and Andrew Hudson. Hi, Andrew. Hello. How much wealth is it worth giving up to save a single healthy year of life from COVID-19? Is the answer different for any other morbidity? And if so, why? Uh, Jonathan Sumption. Well, this has been the big question from the beginning of the lockdown. Um, People have said, this is a very serious epidemic, we must do something about it, and of course it is serious. Uh, The question is different, however. The question is, is it so serious that it's worth uh, having uh, the worst recession for 300 years, closing the job market to a whole generation of young people emerging from education? Uh, Is it worth turning our society into a state where the smallest item of daily life has to be justified potentially before a policeman. Is it worth all that? My view is no. I can't put a figure on how much money or how much economic damage it is worth uh, putting up with per life, Uh, but I am quite sure uh, that history will look back on this as an utterly disproportionate response. The fact is uh, that this is a disease Uh, which kills less, considerably less, than 1% of those infected. It's a disease from which people die at about 82.4, according to the the years old, according to the uh, statisticians, which is not very different from the the age at which they die uh, from anything else. It's a disease from which the great majority of people suffer either no symptoms or very mild symptoms. It is not worth completely wrecking uh, the future of our children's generation uh, Mm -hmm. in order to save that many lives.